Well, we're back. Sam, back at you. Pickles should be out in a minute. We're uh, first warm day we've had in forever. Been miserable. We've been tending cattle. That's about it. Just tending cattle. We're going to stock shows. We didn't get take out to any stock shows. Uh, only because it was trips first, you know, for all of these. And I was like, I'm not going to, uh, I got to get over here where it looks better. It was, uh, I, I didn't want to put any more stress on him than we had to. So we didn't, we didn't take him, take the camera. We just uh, went and, and, and allowed him to experience it. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. But uh, check this out. See if I can get where y'all can see my shirt. How y'all like that? Okay, move my stuff. So, that way, when I go out somewhere and have my camera, people are like, what's this idiot doing? Then they can just look at my hoodie and go, oh. So, y'all see me out, y'all know. But, uh, I'm gonna spin this camera around. I'm trying to stay out of the wind right now. But, uh, let me spin this camera around here. And uh, yes, my son is working on that, but uh, where is she? There's a kind of a update. We will uh, zip back out here. We will we'll go around because I got to check some feeders and stuff here in a minute. But we're just gonna go out and get on the truck. Dad, gum boy, putting those little popper things on the ground. But uh, we're going to put out some hay for the cows and check feed, syrup tubs, and stuff like that. So, y'all come go with us. Okay. So, being pregnant, I've gotten out of opening up the gate. So. Should I be nice enough and go ahead and drive the tractor through the gate? Here he comes. It's been a while since I've driven it. Let's see if my muscle memory is good. Hey. Why? Because you don't want to go in granny gear. Oh, I forgot that part. I almost had it. Good grief. I told you. Think about how slow you'd be going in A. Did you already ask them? Did I ask them? What they thought it is over there? Oh, no. Do you need to shut this? No. Oh. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in over. Because we saw something. I don't even know if we can pick it up on the camera. There's a little yeah, I can't really see it on the camera. Well, we'll have to get to where we can see it a little better. Oh, I gotta zoom out, I don't know that. Oh, that helps. Yeah. Can I go faster? Uh-oh. So, yep, you just hit that little rabbit, no. Just a rabbit, just, no, push the rabbit, yeah. Now you're in second gear, third gear, fifth gear. Slow. You want to see some baby caves? Baby cave overload. There's one. There's one. What do y'all think? We've got over here. There's one. So, move. That move. We're uh, really. That's the move. So, anyways, we're uh, trying to make it back here to the our little feed spot. It's super rough out here. We'll make it. Good 
that one come from? Which one? It's black and that one. That one is... Uh, the sister to Trucks. But, anyways, we'll get down here. She can record while I'm putting hay out. Or taking the wrap off of it. There's a calf in front of the roll of hay. I don't know if I can see him right there. He's like trying to fight. The urge to eat it? Yeah. Well, no, he was like trying to fight the roll of hay. I think they're ready for some hay. Get it undone fast enough. I'll have to fork that roll of hay. I mean that hay ring. I'll move them. Okay, we're gonna walk through these cattle here. Just kind of look them over. See kind of what they're how they're looking, how they're feeling, kind of how they're acting and stuff. Tells you a lot about cattle when you just walk through them. So See how they're kind of spooked up a little bit. There's our, one of our beef master bulls there. But it's always good to walk through your cattle. Just kind of check them out. They're always worried you're going to get into them somehow and try to mess with them. But you think that after all this time that they would be fine but they think I'm trying to do something to them and I'm really not I'm just trying to look at them and that's it you need a petting bud? no nope. Pretty nice bull. I was going to give you all an update on the other one, but I don't know where he went. He's around here somewhere. I don't know where. So this cow right here belongs to Trip. And let me just tell you. There ain't nothing gentle about her. You want to see some cuteness? There you go. Yes, we've had a lot of rain lately. See all these little calves? Another one hid over here behind the tree. I'm trying to get over here where y'all can see it. Yeah, there you go. Maybe he'll come out. Yep, there he is. So, anyways, that's our cattle outlook right now. We're, uh, hope y'all can hear me. Sorry about the wind, but, uh, try to get back over here in the tractor. But, I hope y'all can hear me. Wind makes it hard to hold the door open. But anyways, I got to go over here and check their uh, minerals and uh, probably have to run to town and grab some more. And then uh, come back and put those out. So we'll see. All right. Well. 
I stopped recording for a little while. I came over to the lot and checked the uh, s minerals, syrup tubs as we like to call them, and we were out. So I ran to town. I got six of them, two or four for uh, down here, and uh, I got help too. You think she can grab one of these? They only weigh 200 pounds. So, uh, anyways, here, give her the camera and I'm gonna slide one out so y'all. We can go. It's easier to just roll it like I just so. And, uh, oops. That's what it looks like. So they cook it. It's got molasses. What all has it got in it? Is this the stuff that we always smell in town? It is not the stuff I smell. It's got molasses, vegetable oil, distilled dried grains, plant proteins, a bunch of other stuff, a lot of, you know, zinc, magnet, uh, magnet, manganese, sulfur, uh, or copper sulfate, things like that. But it is 28% uh, protein. So, it's got a lot of, of uh, crude fats. It's, it's very good for these cattle. So, anyways, always get, get them, put them out. It's, it's hard as a rock. But uh, you can see the maize in there. Hey, lick it. No, it's nasty. Show them how the cows do it. No. I've got it on my hands right now. <laughs> Y'all uh, can see how these cows react to it. Because they're already over here. Okay. We'll watch here a minute. And uh, see how these cows react to that. Still think you should have given us a demonstration. There's you going right there. They love this stuff. It's a uh, it's that time of year where uh, it's that time of year where if you look at the ground, you see a lot of green coming in, and the cows. Especially when you have like 220 acres out here and uh, you've given them the whole range of the whole place all winter and now you got grasses coming and these cows they spend all of their energy chasing grass so they're just constantly moving trying to get a little bite of grass and it actually creates a lot of problems for them and that's why you have to pay attention when your cattle start losing weight because of the grass situation you shut them off and you can find them to a smaller area give them some good protein source uh, some good hay and uh, allow your grass to grow in other pastures and then because we have this one we have this place cut into three pastures right now our goal is to cut it into four pastures and then also add a hay patch so that is our goal at some point it's going to take us a little while you don't spend 75 years in one place and then move and expect to have the other place overnight especially when you had uh inflation going on and it's uh one t post is like six dollars and something now well when you need i don't know well i bought some for that a couple years ago and uh i think i bought 200 t post just to go i think it was like 1200 feet or something like that but uh it, it costs lots of money to do all that so you got to do it in stages uh you know we're no different than everybody else you gotta you gotta slow down take your time get it done and then whenever i'm my dad's age trip will take over and uh start making it his own too so that's the way life that's the cycle of farming now you know something but uh here i'm gonna 
slide this over. And I'm not going to take it out this time. I'm going to let y'all look at it before I take it out. So I got to unload four of them anyway. Now you can see that it's got 28% protein, 5% fat, 2% fiber. It's got all this stuff. And then that 1500 is parts per million. And that's the zinc, magnesium, all those things. So this is a, this is very good supplement for cattle. So just roll it out here. So, that old cow there, she's, uh, when I bought her three years ago, she was called a broke mouth cow. Meaning that in her front set of teeth, if I had a if I had the scale here for you, I'm gonna step over in front of it a little bit. If, it, if you looked at her bottom row of teeth and the front across here, she, she would have like six teeth and then one of them would be broken. But uh, sure hadn't heard her done. She raises good cash. This cow here, we've actually got several heifers out of her. Y'all remember us talking about raising a bucking bull? That was out of her and uh, out of a Charlotte bull. But we've got, I don't know, two two heifers out of her right now. And then we've got, uh, she's got a pretty good sized bull calf on her side right now. But anyways, this is, uh, this cow here is actually trying to use her teeth. You can see where she's, she's trying to use oh, her teeth yeah? to, to bite it. But she will, uh, They will go to town. They love these things. So, y'all know what? We're gonna put out these other two, and then we're gonna go up to the cow to the to our uh, processing caves, feeder caves, and uh, put out two for them. And uh, this is not a feeder calf video, so we're not gonna show y'all that. But this is them. This is us out here tending cattle. Catch y'all on the next one.